Hello Vital Community and the rest of YouTube and everybody who likes music. It's the Thrashing Zombie again. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, Blind Buys and what I think of them after I listen to them. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure everybody else has bought Blind Buys before and didn't know what to expect. These are uh, just a few of the ones I bought and some of them you might even know. So I wrote some notes. Cause a bad memory. First off, it's uh, Blackfoot, uh, Strikes, never heard of these guys before, never seen them, I thought maybe they were like country, I mean they're kind of southern rock, kind of remind me a little bit of Leonard Skinner. Kind of stuff. I like them. They're pretty good. I did not realize it's from 1978 or 79, actually. But that's uh, one I got from um, Newberry Comics. They have a section of super cheap vinyl, ranging anywhere from I think the lowest I saw was 50 cents to four dollars. Uh, these are all ones that they don't think are uh, good enough. Like, they're, this jacket's kind of damaged, and vinyl that's been sitting there for a long time and nobody's bought. And that one I was quite surprised because it's actually really good. <clears throat> Next one was uh, the Dregs. Dreg Dregs? Yeah. Unsung Heroes. I, like I said, it's another one I bought there that was in the super cheap section. Didn't know what to expect with this either. This is all like instrumental. It's like no singing. I'm sure some of you know. I've seen this in other videos. A dregs, like I saw this one and a different one. This isn't too bad. It's not great, but I, mean, it was, I think that was only like a dollar or two. And this one was, I don't remember if it was in that super cheap section or the, I think it was in the 999 and under. That's where it goes before it goes in the super cheap section usually. And it was still sealed. And didn't even know uh, what the band was. I, maybe it said on this, the plastic, but on this cover, it doesn't say anywhere what the band is or the name of the album. Um, yeah, so I didn't know what to expect with this either, but I don't know if anybody knows what this band is. I'm not going to tell it just yet. The name of the album is Ghost. Or Ghosts. Or Ghost. Yeah, and it's got acoustic section. This is actually a reissue of the actual album. This is a band called Sea Haven. You can find their work on band camp under run for cover records yeah, yeah run for cover records came out in 2011 <clears throat> it was on this uh, oh crap this uh, bluish this wisps of red in it record This is like alt rock. Oh, I pick up my stuff here. It says alternate, alternative rock, emo rock, kind of. Um, I listened to it three times when I first got it. I found it that great. Not everybody will like this, but it just spoke to me. I found it three, three times in a row. It was good. And another one, this is another one that was out of the super cheap section, I think. No, that was a different one of this band. This one I found at a thrift store, I think. Maybe listen. That's Horse Lips. Horse, Horse Slips? Horse Lips? I, I don't know how to say it. A man who, the man who built America. And this is just another one. 
flying by. No idea what it was. And this was, uh, internet says it's their, they're the first, uh, Celtic rock band. Uh, they're from Ireland. Um, it's folk rock according to Discogs. It's pretty interesting stuff. It's not what I usually would listen to. It's not terrible. Um, I'm not sure what to compare it to. Um, Little U2 maybe. Um, this is also from 1979. Horse Lips. And this one I found at the Queechy Antique Market, which is a big place. Queechy, Vermont, which is you know, 10 minutes from me. Um, some vendors have started selling records. I go there well, once a month or so. Plus, I have a flea market on Sundays during the summer. Um, I found this at one of the vendors. I think I showed this once before. Uh, it's Lost Goat Equator. <coughs> um, yeah, it's hard rock. A couple songs almost sound like Rage Against the Machine. Slightly heavier than hard rock. Um, there's three members, two girls and one guy. Sing singer is female, drummer is female, guitar player is male. There's no mention of bass on this jacket. Um, but I can hear the bass in some of the songs. I don't know if he had uh, somebody come in to play the bass on the album and they don't mention him. I have no idea. But like the second track, I can clearly hear the bass line in the background. This is pretty good. This, uh, this is what 1999 just came out. The 90s when the vinyl wasn't really huge anymore. Maybe I'll find that on YouTube possibly. I'm, I'm not sure. And this one was in the Newberry's super cheap section. It's a band called Skin. Um, this was their only release. It's only two songs, and I think it runs yeah 33 and a third, not 45. <clears throat> I was thinking it might have been rock, maybe, but it is not rock. This came out in 1985, and this is. Uh, to me, it sounds like a mix of rap, hip hop, ska, and dance. Definitely not what I expected it to be. Uh, like I said, it's the only thing they released. Maybe it'll touch a new wave in there. But Discogs says it's funk, soul, and boogie. So, I mean, it's not terrible stuff. I think this was only a dollar. And then this one I found, where did I get this? Exile in Main, on Main Street. I believe that's named after the Rolling Stones album. I just got that in uh, Barrie. I think I mentioned her, that before. An older woman runs it. Um, sent me those tapes that I forgot. I have a whole story about that in one of my other videos. Um, yeah, I think I found this there. This is like fairly cheap. Reverend. Um, yeah, it's got the, a couple hype stickers on it, some damage here and here. I think the back, yeah, the back has some damage here and here. Um, it's actually uh, fronted by David Wayne, uh, ex-singer of Metal Church. I think he did the first couple of albums, if I remember correctly. To me, it sounds like a cheap knockoff of Metal Church. It's, it's thrashy, some power metal moments in here. It's it's not terrible. <clears throat> Never seen this album anywhere else. <clears throat> and then I say and then a lot, huh? Whatever. And this one I showed already, Storm. This was. 
Well, that Reverend was 1990. So, so this, this storm is 1983. Um, it's an early 80s female fronted band. Sounds to be uh, heavily influenced by uh, Benatar and uh, maybe the Runaways a little bit. This, uh, Definitely got that 80s Pat Benatar style sound to it. Like early Pat Benatar. Uh, hit me with your best shot. Kind of love as a battlefield sort of stuff. It's okay. Pat Benatar is much better though. And then this one, I think this is a good find. It's not probably a lot of, it's not a band a lot of people know. <coughs> it's, uh, there's a band that is fronted by a singer of another somewhat famous band, somewhat su more successful, not hugely successful, but a band that people said, oh, they kind of sound like Led Zeppelin. The singer sounds like Led Zeppelin, not the music. And that band was Kingdom Come, the first album self-titled. The singer is the same singer. It's Lenny Wolf. This is Stone Fury. This is his first band before he did uh, um, Kingdom Come. Because I was listening to this and I hadn't checked it out or anything. And I was like, God, this sounds really familiar. And I looked up on the back. Uh, yeah, Lenny's right there. This was uh, 1984. I think Kingdom Come was, what, 87, 88 maybe? But yeah, this is pretty good early uh, hard rock glam metal. It's on the MCA Records label. Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, it's not like superbly like, holy crap, this is so good. But it's a good hard rock glam album in my, in my eyes. So if you find a Stone Fury, pick it up, or don't, you know, don't, don't listen to me. And then this, strain from the rock a bit here, I'm sure you've heard of this band, I've seen a couple of their other albums places, I think somebody showed one of their albums before, it's from 1980, it's a funk soul album called Slave, and a lot of these, this is Stone Jam. A lot of these I picked up just uh, by looking at the cover. I did no research when I was looking at them. I just looked at this cover and I'm like, wow, that's, that's kind of a cool cover. <coughs> like, uh, yeah, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of stuffed up today. <coughs> okay, so slaves, funk soul. Um, yeah, I picked this up just because of the cover. I believe I picked this up uh, at an uh, antique place in uh, West Lebanon, which is two minutes away from me, across the river in New Hampshire. And, uh, yeah, it's not bad, Funk Soul. I mean, I don't think they had it huge like a lot of other Funk Soul bands, but it's pretty good stuff. Just for the cover alone. I mean, come on. It's a good cover. And then this one. This one I bought. Just for the cover. I uh, did a little research on these guys before. I actually decided to buy this. But um, I still didn't know what to expect from this. Um came out in 2010 and it's like their fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth album, I'm not sure exactly. But I just wanted to buy this just, just for the cover alone. Because look at this thing. Insane. Gatefold. Doesn't connect, but just the artwork. And I believe, yep, it comes with this book of artwork. 
So this band is called Of Montreal. They're electronic rock, funk, soul pop, indie rock, synth pop, psychedelic. And like I said, it's just, I bought it for the cover. But it's fairly good music. And just this artwork. This I have to cover up because it's boobies. I mean, it's just, it's not like the best artwork. It's just messed up artwork. Can't show you that because it's boobies. I'm not even sure what's going on in half of these pictures. Oh, this is a same kind of picture. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. The album's called False Priest. So that could be why some of these are like this. <clears throat> just, it's just crazy. Crazy pictures here. But I really, I really like the mix of styles in here. And they, they really, um, want like I was listening to or reading something about this and they said that they wanted it to be more of a, a huge bass and it does it has like really heavy heavy bass it's pretty good so that's that one another one I found I believe thrift store was Axe. I'm sure you've all heard of Axe or not. Yeah. They're a hard rock, hard rock, early glam type of stuff. Um, you know, just it's hard rocking stuff. I really, I like it. It's uh bigger pieces of paper. Just the cover on this was like, ooh, aliens with a guitar axe. Guitar looks like an axe. It's kind of goofy. But the music's pretty good. I got uh, three more. This one I'm not a big fan of. Oh, that axe came out in 1983. This one came out in 1982. Yeah. The nylons. One size fits all. Now I have a little problem with this. Because I didn't know. This was in the super cheap section of Newberry's. Um, it's the, kind of a boy band I guess. But not boys because they're men. Um, I'm not really a fan of it. And the back picture. is really kind of creepy to me. Because, look at, look at them. They, I don't want to say what they look like to me, but they look super creepy. Yeah, it's got like that doo-wop kind of, I guess, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons maybe kind of thing. Or uh, the Oak Ridge Boys, where they kind of like almost a cappella, but they have kind of music in the background. It's not good. I don't like it. If they want to buy it, I'll sell it to you. A buck. Serious. <clears throat> and this one's another one from the super cheap section. Private Lightning. Now, Private Lightning... They are an 80s, typical 80s pop rock. I try to sound like arena rock. It's the only album. It's like they never took off. 
And this is one of those albums where it's upside down. Another female fronted band. It looks like she's playing a violin. Um, it's not terrible. That's not great either. It's kind of, it's kind of meh. Yeah. There's, there's many better bands from the 1980s and Private Lightning. Um, it's, I don't know. Last but not least, I have no notes for this one, so those are right on the floor. This is a band that I know a lot of you know, and but when I bought this, I had no idea about this band. Uh, I think I might have heard the name, but I had never heard any other music. Didn't know who was in the band. Um, this is a later album, third or something, maybe. Runaways, Waiting for the Night. Give me my screenshot. I shouldn't do that. I'm stealing that from somebody else. Sorry, David. So the Runaways. Um, yeah, with, uh, which I didn't know with, uh, Lita Ford and Joan Jett. No idea. I was reading the, the back and saw who was in it. The first two names are Joan Jett and Lita Ford. <clears throat> and I did some research and found out that there was another singer before Lita, before, uh, Joan Jett. So yeah. I had never heard of these people, heard of the Runaways, or heard their music. Um, then I listened to some of their stuff online, and listened to the, what was her name, Sherry, singing, Sherry Bomb, and a couple other songs. And Guardians of the Galaxy movie brought Sherry Bomb back. So that was, I don't know if it became a huge hit again, but everybody got a chance to listen to it. So there's that. And that's the last one, people. Last one. Um, so, have anybody? Has anybody else bought some records that they had knew nothing about? Just took a chance. And what did you think about them? Were they any good? Did you just get rid of them afterwards because they weren't? Um, I'd like to know. So leave a leave a comment, or don't, or don't even watch this. But for those who do, thank you very much. Um, it doesn't matter if, I, well, it does matter, but I'm not going to get upset if nobody watches my videos because I'm still learning and getting better, even though I released a bunch of videos. So, next week I'll probably do a Final Pickups and Vinyl Finds video because, like I, I said last video, I wasn't going to be buying any, but I have. Uh, a nice little stack. I'm still waiting on one more that's coming tomorrow. So next week I'll, well, I'll do a final finds and vinyl pickups. Because uh, I have a couple things that are pretty cool. I have one. I don't know if it's really a grail, but it's a, it's a nice piece that I got. So till then, rock on.